here to shop? Or maybe to sell? Just say the f***ing... I knew you'd ask me here. Well, I'll be taking that ring now. I... yes, of course. <laughs> Glad you know what's best for you. Honestly, I'd always believed I'd be queen someday. I thought it was inevitable, really. But that horrible day ten years passed. Well, I nearly lost hope entirely. It must have been awfully hard. I at least had Joseph to protect me, but you... you were all alone in this world. Deep down, I knew Cornea had fallen. I just didn't want to admit it. Still, there were nights I let myself drift into fantasy. Memories of my time with you and Aunt Elenia. Dreaming how one day I would reinstate the royal family to its rightful status. But it seems that's no longer a dream. Not anymore. With how far the liberation has come, Cornea's redemption is but a matter of course. Assuming I have you at my side, that is. I need you, Virginia. More than you could possibly know. Our covenant is sealed, then. You can come a bit closer, if you want. When we were young, I always thought of you as a brother. But you're so much more to me than that. Now come. Cornea awaits its new king. And queen. Apologies for asking this of you, Elaine. It's merely that I'd like to make an inquiry regarding the nature of these sanctuaries. Please, your presence is more than welcome. We'll ask the Sage together. I'll start by offering a prayer to the sanctuary. He who bears the Ring of the Unicorn, present its grandeur before me. Beside you stands the Turanos of Elheim. Mm -hmm. 
The ring of the unicorn would remain ever bound were it not for you, or for your ancestors, who conveyed the right of covenant through a great many generations. For that, you have my utmost gratitude. Tis a kindness I scarcely deserve, a wise sage. But if I may, I wish to ask a question of you. For what purpose were these sanctuaries constructed? To house errant, wandering souls. Those of the fallen Zenoiran Empire. Yet that raises another question still. How is it that Zenoira met with ruin? Twas an act of hubris immeasurable. In search of the forbidden gift of immortality, their sorcerers made sacrifice of a divine being. <gasps> The great and noble unicorn. Such vile disregard for the natural world. Indeed. And greed only drove them further from their own humanity. Amidst the slaughter, they sought to elicit the creature's purifying energy. And in so doing, break free of the shackles of mortality. Yet the cleansing fires of the unicorn glow impossibly bright. Violent in their rejection of vice and villainy. For the wicked hearted to harness such a power as their own would be a contradiction of its very purpose. Twas a miscalculation of the most fatal ilk. With the beast's dying embers, the fury of the unicorn struck Zenoira's people. Their skin burned, their flesh was rent from their bodies and their souls were condemned to wander for the rest of eternity. How horrible! T'was the greatest irony, then, that the right proved a success in the end. From the ashes of tragedy rose but one survivor, a single girl, capable of communion with the divine unicorn her countrymen had so cruelly defiled. Aside the Pontifex of Albion and the Elven Turanos, she set forth to deliver peace to the restless souls of Zenoira's citizens. A venture which saw them construct six sanctuaries spread through every land of Fevreth. Upon its completion, she rallied those loyal to her cause and founded a new nation, Cornea, of which she would become the first queen. And with the spirits of her brethren pacified at last, she relinquished the power she had never once wished to receive. Twas then that it was severed in twain, each half laid into a sacred relic, symbolic of her tale. The ring of the unicorn. And that of the maiden. Then the reason this ring answers to me alone is the royal blood flowing through my veins. Quite so. Your heart is that of the unicorn. Fated to commune with a maiden true and fair, a destiny which culminated in the Rite of Covenant and the subsequent unbinding of the ring's true form. Now, the power of cleansing housed within these grounds will prove a great boon in the battle ahead. You need only accept its grace. Your will is mine own. Righteous Prince of Cornea. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Ring bearer, the sanctuaries of Fevrith further seek your call. Deliver your presence unto each in turn, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives.
Forgive me for prying, Berengaria, but why have you asked to join us here? Boltro. I want to know more about the man who thinks he can tamper with other people's minds. I have a few other questions for this sage of yours, too. I'll start by offering a prayer to the Sanctuary. He who bears the Ring of the Unicorn, present its grandeur before me. Excellent. Hope you're in the explaining mood, Sage. There's a sorcerer working with Galerius. Goes by the name Baltro. What can you tell me about him? The man was a true prodigy, if ever one has deserved the title. His aptitude for magic was, in a word, peerless. A gift he employed with little concern for sense or morals. Twas through that disregard that he birthed arts as magnificent as they were monstrous. The right of channeling chief among them. Is that how the devil still lives? By possessing the body of another? Valtro himself has no need of such trickery. While the lost souls of ancient Zenoira's people have long stood confined within the sacred grounds of the sanctuaries, Valtro has remained in the realm of the living, sustaining his twisted physical form for centuries upon end. The lone survivor of a fallen empire. If those souls have been locked away, how exactly was he able to summon them? With the Crystal of Transference, of course. A potent medium capable of circumventing the Barred Gate to beyond. Once the desired soul was summoned, he wielded the right of channeling to convey it into a yet living host. Tis a feat, I presume, only possible for a man of Baltro's infernal aptitude. Crystals of Transference. Hmm. I can't say I've ever heard of them myself. I'd bet they're real tough to come by. Otherwise, he'd have brought back the whole damn empire by now. You make a good point. I've got one more question for you, Sage. This armor I'm wearing, it's not the only set. There was another up in Albion recovered from the Sanctuary when Zenoira first started knocking. The way I hear, it was the Pontifex who found it, gave it to a guy named Nigel not long after. So, I was wondering, this place have any old gear you're looking to part ways with? Alas, all armaments stored within these walls have long since been evacuated. Yet the power of cleansing remains pure and true. Grasp it tight and it shall surely bring you succor in the days to come. Your will is mine own, righteous prince of Cornea. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Ring bearer, the sanctuaries of Fethrith further seek your call. Deliver your presence unto each in turn, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives. I'll start by offering a prayer to the Sanctuary. He who bears the Ring of the Unicorn, present its grandeur before me.
So the ring is restored at last. You have done well. If I may ask a question, you said that if we wished to match Galerius' might, we would first need to unbind the ring's power. But I wonder, why did you bid us return here after? That I may bestow upon you the power of cleansing, accumulated within these walls over the passing of centuries. Do you imply the renewed ring is not enough to defeat him? It is not. If you wish to bring such events to bear, you must usher the souls of Zenoira's people to their long-awaited salvation. The Zenoira of old was an ancient kingdom, said to have fallen in a single cursed night. What do its denizens have to do with this? The night you allude to was that of failed ceremony. One in which they relinquished their corporeal forms. For countless years they suffered in discarnate agony, consigned to merely watch as a new world sprung forth from their own. As you may expect, the weaker hearted among them succumbed first to madness, then to an unyielding, rabid lust for evil. Tis only by the power of the sanctuaries that such wicked souls were put to slumber, sealed away in a realm known solely as the Beyond. And Galerius used me and my father to break that seal. Quite so. He has torn open a scene between the land of the living and that of the dead, a scene through which he shall unite their beings, till neither one is distinct from the other. Then we know now what Galerius seeks. To resurrect the souls of ancient Zenoira. Should he succeed, this world will be met with grave disaster. Yet that is why our sanctuaries exist. Make use of our strength and bring eternal salvation to the souls of the lost. Now, the power of cleansing housed within these sacred grounds will prove a great boon in the battle ahead. Your will is my own, righteous Prince of Cornea. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Ring bearer, the sanctuaries of Febreth further seek your call. Deliver your presence unto each in turn, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives. I'll start by offering a prayer to the Sanctuary. He who bears the Ring of the Unicorn, present its grandeur before me. Your efforts are commendable indeed. I shall grant you my might. But Galerius' ambitions may at last be foiled. If you'll allow me a question first, Galerius asserts himself Emperor of the Fallen Zenoiran Empire. But I wonder, do his claims ring true? They do. He is a man dangerous beyond all reason or belief. In truth, Zenoira's people were not born on Fevreth soil, but hail from another continent beyond the Great Seas. Their populace enjoyed countless years of peace and prosperity, ushered in by magical advancements of the highest order. Yet, after a contested succession sparked civil war, the very magic which once enhanced their lives 
now stole them away instead. And by the day Galerius emerged victorious, Zenoira was naught but barren wastes, inhabited chiefly by the corpses of the damned. Faced with such cold conclusion, most would have considered him a king absent a kingdom, yet Galerius would not be denied his reign. Mustering what few pitiful subjects remained in the realm of the living, he set off to seize a new shore as his own, Fevrith. Then the ancient Zenoira we're familiar with was actually an invading army from a far-off continent. The modest fiefdoms which dotted Fevrith could but thrash and flail beneath Galerius's insurmountable might. Only Elheim, shielded by the bows of the divine Evelda, was spared utter decimation. If that same conqueror now blights our lands as well, can we assume General Valmor was possessed by his soul? I don't believe we can. An energy so ineffably evil likely derives from something else entirely. How do you mean? Were he merely revived through the rite of channeling, Slaying the host would banish his soul back to the frigid gates of the beyond. Yet, to judge by the monstrous aura surrounding him, I fear the task far too great for such crude methodology. No matter the truth of it, Galerius must be stopped. And the power of cleansing housed within these walls shall hearten that pursuit. Tis yours, should you but accept it. Your will is mine own, righteous Prince of Cornea. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Ringbearer, the sanctuaries of Fevrith further seek your call. Deliver your presence unto each in turn, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives. Sorry for making you drag us along like this. Please, there's nothing to apologize for. I take it you have a question to ask. We want to see if this sage knows anything about the blue. It's the only reason we even got in here, so... I'll start by offering a prayer to the sanctuary. He who bears the ring of the unicorn, present its grandeur before me. Much, Rinbearer. Tis no easy feat crossing a nation bound in the harshest of winters. I don't mean to interrupt, wise sage, but I was wondering if you could answer something for us. What exactly is the Bastorius Blue? You refer to the Azure Stone on your person, yes? It is magic made crystal, cultivated by the Elves of Yore. Long ago, when their kind still called Bastorius home. There were elves here? That era too saw Zenoira's reign encroach upon every region of Fevrith. The elves to the south, secure behind Ervelda's veil, espoused neutrality and insulated themselves in the forests of Elheim. 
Yet those in Astorius did not possess such luxury. Instead, they forged a powerful crystal capable of transforming their bodies into those of colossal beasts. Astrals. But they could turn themselves back, right? Such a technique did exist, yes. Though, unfortunately, it has long been lost to the passage of time. <sighs> Should have guessed as much. Still, Zenoira must have had some reason for wanting the stone so bad, even though they didn't use their mind control to try and get it. I suspect you allude to the right of channeling. As I understand it, Mestral physiology is far too distinct to house a human soul, making the right a futile venture. In its place, they likely sought the crystal for its similar mastery over the hearts of your race, all in the grand hopes of bridling the same strength they failed to overcome so many years prior. Some story this thing's got. Now, we lack the time for further conversation. Allow me to imbue your ring with the power of cleansing. Use it well, and bring an end to Galerius's cruel ambitions. Your will is mine own, righteous Prince of Cornea. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Ring bearer. The sanctuaries of Feverith further seek your call. Deliver your presence unto each in turn, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives. I'll start by offering a prayer to the Sanctuary. He who bears the ring of the Unicorn, present its grandeur before me. Progeny of the late Pontifex Arant, you have done well in guiding the Savior to this sacred hall. You know of me? I do. Your father, under compulsion of Baltro's magic, destroyed the seal sheltered upon these grounds. A regrettable fate indeed. Excuse me the question, wise sage. Why is it that those of the pontifical lineage are able to break the sanctuary seals? Tis a tale even older than the orthodoxy itself. But that's over 800 years. Indeed. I speak of ancient Zenoira and their sorcerer's quest for might beyond mortal bounds. The pursuit which brought them to Alabia and the holy power of the almighty unicorn. Enraptured by its supreme brilliance, they began to experiment, using the citizens of Albion as their subjects. In time, those experiments birthed a new race entirely. The population you know as angels. That's... not possible. Yet their only distinguishing feature were the wings on their backs. A mark of failure for the sorcerers who conceived them. The experiments continued unceasingly, but only one success emerged. A man capable of divine wonder. 
The first Pontifex. Yes, and the gift he bore was the means to lay wandering souls to eternal rest. But how does that relate to the seals? The purpose of Everth's sanctuaries is twofold. The first is to soothe the vengeful spirits of old Zenoira. The second is to accumulate an energy most sacred, the power of cleansing. Galerius impelled your father to set loose the souls bound to this center, to break its seal as you know it. In so doing, he divested these grounds of one of their vital duties, but the other, the power of cleansing housed within, still remains undefiled by wicked intent. My father must have foreseen the breaking of the seals all those years ago. Which explains why he asked you to one day guide me here, to impart the power of cleansing upon my ring. So that we may stop Galerius before it's too late. Your will is mine own, righteous Prince of Cornea. The ring's gotten stronger, Elaine. I can feel it. Ring bearer, your pilgrimage is fulfilled. And so too is the ring of the unicorn. Deliver your presence unto the decisive conflict, that we may aid you when the fated time arrives. My divine bow. To the skies! At your service. 
service. Let Victory us advance. Awaits. Nowhere is too far. Have you need of my skill? As you've ordained. I stand ready. At once. This area is no longer safe. No mercy! Shall I assist you? I shall rain arrows upon them. of my labor. It seems you've misjudged me. Nowhere is too far. Sir. I've no allowance for mercy. <laughs> Wanna keep going? Not bad. Freeze! Better heal up. Have some of this! So hurt! Cool off! Aim and... Fly ever true. Pass down your mandate. Departing at once. I saw on face me if my quarry never in no mercy. I've no allowance for mercy. You're nothing. Over here. None of you will die. Stopping me now. Dead and buried. I stand ready. At once. Nowhere is too far. Sir. My wings shall take me. As you've ordained. Face me. My quarry never eludes me. Yet. 
Not bad. Ah! Got some arrows for you. My bow is my strength. Through undying effort comes true refinement. My bow's feeling lighter than ever. The way forth is clear. I stand ready. At your service. I stand ready. Service. Understood. The enemy takes aim. <sighs> I've no You're nothing. I saw on wings of white. My skill? My wings shall take me. Departing at once. Must be careful. Pass down your mandate. Ugh. My wings shall take me. I make haste. My quarry never eludes me. Not even surprised. A little bit of tricorn pride for you. Take notes, Lex. My arrows fly ever true. Have you need of my skill? As you've ordained. At your service, sir. No mercy. Shall I assist you? shall take me. Departing at once. I've no and face me and be cut. Down. I saw on wings of white. Strength serve you well. For all of Pastorius! Have you need of my skill? My wings shall take me, as you've ordained. 
I've no allowance for mercy. Let's have some fun. draws nearer. We're finally here. Grand Corinne.
Not a day passes that my mind is not filled with memories of this place. And how, despite my duty to Queen Elenia, I fled its walls when she needed me most. I've yearned for this moment for so long, yet it scarcely feels real now that it's finally come before me. Allow me to thank you in my mother's stead, Joseph. You have mentored me, trained me, and served almost as a father, all so that I could one day climb this mountain. Yet we stand now not at the apex, but looking ever upward from its base. The path ahead is steep and treacherous. I ask that you save such words until we've weathered its ascent. A point well made. This day, we dethrone Galerius, shatter Zenoira's foul ambitions, and usher in a new age for the people of this continent, one free of the tyranny and despair they've grown so accustomed to. I hope you're watching, Mother, for in the battle ahead, your son will finally see you avenged, and light restored to Cornea at last, to every shadow-ridden refuge throughout Fevrith. I can't believe we're really here. All those days of peace back on Palavia feel like a distant dream at this point. You got that right. I just hope Elaine's dealing with it okay. Ten years we've known the guy, and we've never once seen him rattled. He'll be fine. The same stoic way he always is. Yeah. Thank you, Lex. <laughs> What's happening? Such tremors can only carry ill tidings. What wicked energy! Urgent news, your highness. Zenoira's soldiers have begun putting the people of Grand Corin to the sword. <laughs> the whole city's one big mass grave. Has Galerius lost his mind? What could drive him to do such a thing? That miasma appears to be a magic almost identical to their mind control powers. Not only that, but they're using some sort of crystal to diffuse it throughout the city. Yet we have the ring, made whole once again by the blessing granted in the Rite of Covenant. It should prove capable of combating the spell head-on. Hmm. If the Sage's proclamations are to be believed, Galerius intends to make the entire city subject to his ruthless rite of channeling. But the Sages gave us more than just words. They gave us strength, too. The strength to stop this ritual before it even starts. In any case, only one course of action remains. Prepare to march, everyone. Our lands shall suffer these atrocities no longer. Operations are complete, Sir Herman. Convey the order, and it shall be done. Heed my word, loyal soldiers of Drakenhold. This day, we march for King Gilbert, for Cornia! <laughs> such horrors. The gate to the beyond thirsts for blood, and we know better than to refuse its demands. Please, fair knights, we've shown Emperor Galerius nothing but the utmost loyalty. <laughs> <laughs> You've had it easy behind these stout city walls, but now it's time to pay your due. I beg you, sirs, spare us our modest lives. As if that would change anything. Alive, you'd merely be a vessel for our fallen. A fate no different than death itself. So, you come before me at last. 
How many centuries I've awaited this day. It is an honor to bask in your glory once more, my liege. Ere long, the wrongs of the past will be wiped clean, and Zenoira will know the peace it has desired for so many years. Your summoning is but the first step toward that exalted right. And I take it our role is to ensure none interfere. Precisely. The gate to the beyond has been flung open, and your duty is to defend it no matter the cost. Consider it done, my liege. Upon my honor as your most humble servant. As long as I see battle, I care not about the reason. Now if we're done here, I have an axe to sharpen. Worry not, my liege. Any who stand before my hellfire shall be reduced to not more than ash. We'll be bathing in blood before you know it. <laughs> Just as vicious as I remember. Now go. Strike forth in the name of Zenoira Reborn. Hours. By my divine bow. I'll take wing. In the glory of Elheim. What would you have me do? The Failure is not an option. Back. I hope I can help. What is our strategy? With haste. <clears throat> Onward. I'll handle this. Pass down your mandate. Departing at once. I hope I can help. To the skies! I... Your villainy ends here.
come then. Wings of white. At least try. of my skill as you've ordained he'll not escape stand tall String grows tauter. May your soul find peace. On my honor as Tureno, as you wish. I believe I've arrived. Your villainy ends here. Victory grows ever closer. Never eludes me. Our ascendancy draws nearer. My wings shall take me. I make haste. I saw on wings of white. Take notes, Lex. The way forth is clear. Pass down your mandate. 
As you've ordained. I stand for all elf kind. My duty is complete. Have you need of my skill? I make haste. The end is upon you. They protect us. What shall I do next? My wings shall take me. As you've ordained. me. to my former strength. A fine bout. We march. To me. Take cover! Your villainy ends here. Ah, oh, how I've missed the splendor of battle. A delicate dance between life and death. Where only one shall see the final applause. Don't bow out too early, hmm? I'd like to savor this as long as I can. Shall we?
shall pay! Ha! Ha! I'll see it done! Whatever you require. I shall be your shield. As you command. Whatever you require. As you command. Time is at hand. We march. Onward. Uh, we're... <clears throat> Come then. Victory grows ever closer. The time is at hand. To me. Your villainy ends here. Well fought. We march. The path is set. You face me. Another step forth. As expected of Corny and Boy. I can't fail my sacred mission. One of the many benefits of old age. To me. Come then. To protect those who can't protect themselves. A fine bout. We march. Onward. I've arrived. Never a chance. My quarry never eludes me. Not even surprised. 
A little bit of tricorn pride for you. For all of Pastorius! I can fly no farther. Pass down your mandate. My wings shall take me. Departing at once. Yes! Victory grows ever closer. I have no choice. A product of my devotion. As I expected. On my honor as Turenos, I shall. I have no allowance for mercy. May this holy strength serve you well. Have you need of my skill? As you've ordained. Fly true the Liberation's banner. How might I serve? My atonement, Beckon. What is our strategy? Whatever you need. What is our strategy? We mobilize at once. What is our strategy? With haste. Be preserved. Allow me. A brisk flight. Returning for now. Our spirits are high. My wings shall take me. You want... The time is at hand. We march. Set. They're on to me. Whatever you require. Free I, make it count. I shall be your shield. Me. Whatever you require. At once. My quarry never eludes me. My arrows fly ever true. Have you need of my skill? Departing at once. Knew that was coming. Never stood a chance. I claim it in the name of the liberation. down your mandate, as you've ordained. I rise to any challenge. Your orders? Allow me. Then have me! Your orders? I rise to any challenge. Uh. 
Allow me. Very well. I've no allowance for mercy. Wanna keep going? You okay? Better heal up. I ever true. Have you need of my skill? I make haste. Face your demise! <laughs> my name is Narcess, master and merchant of the magical arts. The sorcery in my command can be stayed no more than the grandest of rivers. Now. Drown amidst its swirling current. Don't show any weakness. No more tricks. Grovel. Your orders? A brisk flight. Come then! Chaos shall never reign again. Are you impressed yet? All for the sake of my healing. Allow me. It shall be done. Gonna need a minute. Let us reform our ranks. Face your demise! My strength grows by leaps and I would bounds. appreciate a rest. I rise to any challenge. Your orders? Very well. Come then! My strength knows no... <laughs> I think I've gotten a little better at this. I rise to any challenge. It shall be done. 
if you want me, then have me! To the next! Allow me... a brisk flight. Stay in here for now. Come then! The fruits of diligence are sweet indeed. Your orders? It shall be done. On my honor as Turenos. As you wish. at hand. We march. The time is at hand. March. The time is at hand. We march. The time is at hand. March. Time is at hand. To me. You'll never win! I did it! I'll handle this. Divine bow. My wings shall take me. Have you need of my skill? As you've ordained. I'll win the next one, too. I shall be your shield. Sir. Your villainy ends here. Stand before the warrior Halonius, a man who has long since transcended the art of war, and now shall set ablaze this tortured world till only cinders remain. But first, 
to see if you can defy my blade. A height none of my time could reach. Hold on. Make ready! March. The time is at hand. Onward. Fine bout. We march. For the glory of Drakenhold! The time is at hand. The path is set. I can't move another inch. Not even worth bragging over. is at hand. Barely any effort. I rise to any challenge. A brisk flight. My quarry never eludes me. The way forth is clear. My wings shall take me. Departing at once. These lands are ours. Pass down your mandate. Have you need of my skill? I make haste. Simply ask if you've need of me. 
Your villainy ends here. <laughs> I've slept centuries waiting for this day, rebel scum. But now the sweet taste of blood will finally cross my lips. Prepare for a fate far worse than death. I fear nothing. You shall pay! This is for you. None of you will die. of our once fallen empire. By the thrust of your blades, our ancient Zenoira shall be birthed anew upon Fevrith soil. Today, we restore this land to its rightful rulers. <coughs> now then, the hour has come. And so too shall victory, once the sigil is complete and this realm merged with the beyond. Defend the castle at any cost, and deliver salvation unto the people of Zenoira! <laughs>
glory of Elheim. Dearest Fay, hear my prayer. further loss. Their tyranny ends here. For the Knights of the Sacred Heart. We march. Nobody else has to suffer. War is a cruel game played by cruel men. I am yours to command. Departing at once. Come then. I have need of a rest. We march. Time is at hand. To me. Your villainy ends here. Well fought. As you command. Advancing. I shall be your shield. We march. I've no allowance for mercy. Our ascendancy draws nearer. Pass down your mandate. Departing at once. I withdraw for now. I claim it in the name of the liberation. My wings shall take me. Time is at hand. What shall I do next? You want to run? The time is at hand. Good we call. Well well. We march. Onward. For the liberation. Pass down your mandate, as you've ordained. I'll bear no further loss. I shall. I'll handle this. Dismounting for now. War is a cruel game, played by cru- As you wish. Ugh, can't move another inch. 
My quarry never eludes me. The way forth is clear. My wings shall take me. Departing at I once. I believe I've arrived. Gonna need a minute. Need to take a break. I've no allowance for mercy. My arrows fly ever true. Have you need of my skill? As you've ordained. My wings shall take me. I make haste. I soar on wings of white. Our ascendancy draws nearer. Have you need of my skill? As you've ordained. My quarry never eludes me. Permit me the briefest of rests. Pass down your mandate. Have you need of my skill? Departing at once. Ugh, can't move another inch. Stay in here for now. We march. The time is at hand. I walk the path of atonement. I trust you. Your orders, savior. As you wish it, the time is at hand. I'll take win. What would you have me do? Understood. I walk the path of atonement. I shall fly there at once. I did it! I hope I can help! To the skies! Whatever you require. At once. Need to take Awaiting a break. further instruction. Pass down your mandate. As you've ordained. I've done as you requested. even better than Clive now. There's always more to learn. You see that? The pride of House Maye. I'll handle this. I'm on my way. No, oh, need to take a break. No. Oh. I must oh. never stray from the do? heaven's light. Understood. I saw on wings of white. The way forth is clear. Have you need of my skill? I make haste. My wings shall take me. What is our strategy? Always up for a Your call. Smart. This area is no longer safe. Let me hit something.
time is at hand. The path is set. My quarry never eludes me. My arrows fly ever true. You face me. I must never yield. May the Father smile upon me. I've grown stronger. Victory grows ever closer. We march. Onward. I've no allowance for mercy. Our ascendancy draws nearer. Pass down your mandate. I make haste. I've arrived. Come then. As expected of Cornian Royal. is at hand. The path is set. I shall be your shield. Sir. My quarry never eludes me. I can fly no farther. My wings shall take me. Have you need of my skill? Departing at once. You'll never win! I would expect nothing less! This might be a struggle, understood? This land is ours! These lands are ours. Good. We march. Onward. Your orders? It shall be done. My wings shall take me. The time is at hand. <clears throat> we march. Set. <clears throat> to me. The time is at hand. Have you need of my skill? Pass down your mandate. Let us reform our ranks. By my divine bow, my wings shall take me. Make haste. What shall I do next? Your villainy ends here.
fought. <clears throat> Onward. Permit me to join you for the Knights of the Sacred Heart. I am yours to command. I withdraw for now. Thus begins my sacred... My wings are yours. May the heavens guide us. I take my leave. By the grace of the Holy Youth, did you need me? Guide me, O oh Father. I'm withdrawing for now. To the skies! At your service. Nowhere is too far. Heading to ground. Permit me to join you. None shall escape my... I shall rain arrows upon them. Tyranny ends here. I am yours to command. Understood. Tis ours now. We march. The path is set. Take cover! I've no allowance for mercy. My arrows fly ever true. Have you need of my skill? As you've ordained. I rise to any challenge. me. Victory grows ever closer. <clears throat> the path is set. Face your demise! My wyvern and I soar as one. Allow me. Very well. How might I serve? Simply ask if you've need of me. On it. Adding out. I claim it in the name of the Liberation. For the Knights of the Sacred Heart. In the glory of Elheim, what is our strategy? With haste. Falling back then. I am yours to command. Order must be preserved. I rise to any challenge. A brisk flight. Splendid. Your villainy ends here. A fine bout. The time is at hand. Onward. For the liberation. We march. The path is set. The end is upon you. To better serve Ter Rosalinda. It shouldn't come as a surprise. May your soul find peace. On my honor as Turenos. I shall. We may need this. Requesting further command. Let me hit something. Your call. Let me 
hit something. Come then. Victory grows ever closer. The time is at hand. To me. Tis ours now. As you command. Withdrawing for now. I trust you. It shall be done. I have no choice. My blade for our Teras. I'm pleased with this. As I expected. What is our strategy? As you wish. I must retreat. My wings shall take me. Departing at ours once. now. My quarry never eludes me. Our ascendancy draws nearer. Allow me. Have you need of my skill? I make haste. Your orders? Very well. I've no allowance for mercy. My arrows fly ever true. Pass down your mandate, departing at once. How might I serve with haste? Come then! Allow me a brisk flight. Face your demise! With all the force of a raging... Perhaps I'll purchase a good book to celebrate. I rise to any challenge. Very well. On my honor as Turenos. For the liberation. I believe I've arrived. My wings shall take me. I make haste. <clears throat> Onward. Your call. We march. The time is at hand. Pass down your mandate. Have you need of my skill? We march. My wings shall take me. For the Knights of the Sacred Heart! On it! What is our strategy? How might I serve? Have you need of my skill? My wings shall take me. I am yours to command.
Pass down your mandate as you've ordained. Now then. By the Father's grace. The time is at hand. The path is set. What shall I do next? Tis a deficient plan. Shall I assist you? The hour of reckoning is soon at hand, and none shall deny my people their glory. So come if you wish, powerless fools. Meet your demise before the acts of Galerius, almighty emperor of your meager world! You've crushed a continent beneath your heel, oppressed its people, trampled its fields, yet still you claim to deserve its crown. It ends today, Galerius. Now perish in the light of Everith Pure! Time is at hand. My wings shall take me. Pass down your mandate. On my honor as Turenos. We march.
We march. Onward. The time is at hand. We march. Good. The time is at hand. Just a moment. The hours we march to me. I fear for our safety. I shall rain arrows. My on. aid is yours. Shall I assist you? I stand with you. For the Knights of the Sacred Heart, I withdraw for now. Your call. Smart. Your orders? A brisk flight. Your villainy ends here. I shall reign and my aid is yours.
Shall I assist you? I stand with you. It's not personal. You'll not break me. To shrink. Uh. Uh. The rock shot me. Uh. Your final steps draw near. Time is at hand. Onward. See ya. Come then. I shall rain arrows at my aid is yours. Shall I assist you? I stand with you. I shall rain arrows. My aid is yours. I stand with you. By the darkest armor. There's no escape. March. <laughs> we march. Barely any effort. 
Your villainy ends here. My aid is yours. Shall I assist you? I shall rain arrows upon them. Shall I proceed? Tis merely a bit of pain. <clears throat> the time is at hand. We march. Stronger than ever. The time is at hand. The path is set. We march. <sighs> the time is at hand. We march. Come then. Shall I assist you? I stand with you. Galerius, Emperor of Zenoira. Your ambitions are laid bare, and your empire in ruin. <laughs> if you hope to speak, you'll find me no willing participant. I have no words for you. And this, now.
Galerius, you saw in Fevreth's innocent people mere vessels to house your own fallen empire. But as long as I live and breathe, you'll never inflict such callous devastation on our world. How do you know of that? Piteous ghost of an age long past, I shall grant your soul the freedom it desires. You will not! On your guard, Elaine. My brethren were robbed of their corporeal flesh, left to wander in the void of nothingness for 800 years. Their pain is my strength and my body. Their fury given form. While the souls of Genoira remain trapped in the beyond, their emperor shall never know <laughs> defeat. Your Majesty. Baltro! How goes the right? Flawlessly. We lack but a single soul to complete the spell. Then these insects shall be more than enough. Grant me your strength, and we'll stamp them out together. Deluded cravens, the both of you! What do you think you're doing? Apologies if I wasn't clear, Your Majesty. The last soul the sigil seeks is none other than yours. Traitorous fool, finally gone senile. Is that you, Mother? Your Majesty, but how? Mother! I don't know how, but she's perfectly fine. Speak to me. Please. You fought valiantly, Elenia. But this battle has reached its conclusion. You're wrong. And I shall have your head for thinking otherwise. <laughs> Your hubris was the end of you, Falmor. <gasps> what sorcery is this? Do you see now the futility of your struggle? By cutting me down, you have doomed yourself to a life reborn as my new vessel. Madness. How does Valmor yet live? He doesn't. The man was a simple human, undeserving of the glorious soul of an emperor. Name yourself at once! I am Baltro, sorcerer of the great and storied Zenoran Empire. The very empire whose armor was passed through Valmor's family for generations on end. And it was I who bound our Emperor's soul to that armor. I can't move. So it's true. The Cornian royal family bears the blood of the Maiden. No matter. Your feeble flesh shall now play host to Galerius, ruler of all creation. I never imagined he possessed such frightful mastery over the bodies of others. Elaine, I can't say how much time has passed since that day, but you've grown so much. If only I could have been there to witness it. It seems I owe Joseph a great deal for raising you in my absence. Is complete. 
And the gate to the beyond stands open and true! <laughs> Rise, prisoners of the Unicorn's Curse! Spectro phantoms from an ancient time! You shall be the first to perish by my newfound strength! Joseph, see my mother somewhere safe. And you, your highness? We end this long-drawn war, here and now. Right. I'll crush Baltro and his sickening sigil myself. Come home, both of you. Thank <laughs> you.